with the Minecraft version 1.13, the font system in Minecraft got reworked and we got access to custom fonts. In this video I want to show you everything you need to know about these custom fonts and how you can use them in map making and data packs and create for example this little hut right here or use custom fonts in general. And I also show you a few tricks and tips how you can get creative with fonts in Minecraft. So let's get started. We add our fonts in the resource pack like we used to before. But now we can use a variety of different formats and these have to be defined here. So I created a sample resource pack here and pretty important is this new font folder here that goes into the Minecraft folder along with the models and textures for example. And in this font folder we can define a JSON file and we have to call it default.json. There's also a JSON file for the enchantment table. You can read everything about these fonts in this Reddit article here. I'll link that in the video description. So this JSON file here has an object here. We have to define our providers and assign a list to it. Here we can define our formats. I've done that with a TTF font. That's the most common font type. And we just define the type here with TTF and then the file to our font file. This would be ftie.ttf. This also needs to go into the font folder here. So I just paste it in here. And you can download these fonts here everywhere on the internet. Just be sure to have the TTF file extension here. So we link the file here. We can say which size it should have. This would be 15 points here. And we can also shift it around around this would be the x coordinate and this the y coordinate. I shifted it to a bit up to align properly. And then we have also the oversample property here that just determines the resolution of our single characters. One would be a bit more pixelated here. So let's save that. Back in Minecraft we can now see the font is active here. And it's pretty hard to read. I just picked a random font from the internet. But every text component in the game is now with is now displayed with this font here. But this alone would be pretty boring. There's also a second way to render fonts and that is with a normal image. I want to show that quickly. Here in our providers, we can define another provider here. Let me quickly copy this over. And we can set the type to a bitmap, so just a normal PNG image. And we can give it a PNG image. This image has to be in our textures folder. And from there on, we can define our custom path. I chose font star here, so. It would select this image here and this looks something like that here. We want to display this star as a custom character. We define which character we want to change in this chars list here. I would recommend to change a Unicode character that isn't in use by Minecraft and you just say backslash u and then a hexadecimal code. And this can include from 1 to 9 and from A to F. You have many options here to define these four characters here. I would recommend to take a look at a Unicode table and select characters that aren't in use. In this case, this would be the EFF1 character. So then, then we have also the height property on here. My image itself is 8x8 eight eight, eight pixels and that would be pretty small in game so I say this should display at this should display at the font size of, font size of 10. 
And then there's also the property ascend, and that just says how much I want to move the character up or down. This is pretty similar to the shift property on the TTF font. So let's save that and actually reload the texture pack here. We can't see anything immediately. But what we can do, we can display this custom character now. For example, with the title command. And we choose to display a text here. And then we can use our custom character. In our case, this would be backslash ueff1. And we can see with the title the, our custom image. This image can be a bit bigger than 8x8 eight eight pixels, but as far as I know it just accepts the width and height of 265 pixels. So you can't cover the entire 1080p screen here. But of course you can scale this image up with the height property and align it with the ascent. So we could say minus 10 as ascent here and reload our texture pack again and we see the star now moved a bit down and we can align our image on the screen that way and create some head over displays for example we could display a bar on the side here whatever you want to do with that of course we can also display multiple characters in the title so we can just repeat the character here now it would show three stars here let's create such a custom hut and we want to display five stars here depending on a score this score would be star count in my case let's choose the action bar here as display and do five stars here so now we have five stars and of course we can do that depending on the scores here in the selector and display different titles in the action bar. Now I want to align these stars here also to our current displays down here. So we have to move it to the left a bit. To the right would be pretty simple, we just insert some spaces here and it would move to the right but to move it to the left is a bit more difficult luckily there is someone who created a custom font that allows you to do negative spaces this font pack is by Amber V from the Minecraft command discord and this right here is also a custom TTF font now it's called negative spaces.ttf that includes some characters and their width is set to a negative value. Let's quickly include this here. This is like any other TTF font here. If you go into our title again here, we can now use some characters here. These are all the characters for the values. So we could for example use one to get one pick one negative pixel and we can use a here for example and we and we can see it moved to the left a bit we can go one step higher let's choose b and it moved again and of course we can combine these characters here and now we are on the far left here maybe copy one b character again that fits it quite well here on the left aligns to our bar here so we can actually copy a lot of these commands here with the selector for the scoreboard and i've actually done that so if we activate this here it displays the stars it looks quite great here I want to move it a bit further down so we use the ascent again and let's say negative 14 so that should fit in our layout here a bit better now so now we can change the star count here 
and it would display these stars. And you might have seen it, it does not align to the left anymore, it aligns this here to the center. And that's because we took a few characters just away here and the entire action bar is aligned to the center here. So, And we want to align this also to the left and also maybe display some other characters that show how many stars we actually have. Luckily I have a another image prepared and that's the outline for the star. We can take this and display it as an empty star. Therefore, therefore we need a, another character here, so just add another bitmap. And we want to display the star outline and assign it to, let's say, e, EFF2. And now in our command block here, we could add four other, four other characters here with the two at the end. And that would display these empty stars here. I actually made that for all the five stars here. So we can take a look at four stars and two stars. Oh, and of course these stars don't make any sense. But for example, you could implement a temperature bar here or something on the side here. And this is not this is not only limited to the action bar, you can also do that with the scoreboard on the side with the title and a boss bar on top here. And let's say this is not enough. We want a background for this behind these stars here to give it a bit more contrast. This could look like this here, just a background. And we want to save it as custom character. So again, we define our character down here and select our image back.png here and also make it a bit more bigger than our stars here. Let's see how this looks. We can edit our command up here and we can insert the third character here and yes our background is in here but <laughs> it is not displayed as the background each image has a width the inserted character has also this specified width width of the image so this character here would be this entire thing here and of course this blocks the stars here but luckily we have our negative spaces, so we could add a B space after our background and that, and that would move all the stars again over by a bit and over our background here. And that way we can overlap multiple characters and actually display them at different layers with the power of this negative spaces. But now we see this background is a bit off. So let's edit that. And we can just edit the vertical alignment with the ASCAN value. And let's change it a bit. And let's see how that looks. So it reloads. And let's see. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit annoying that you have to test. That you have to test a lot and experiment with these values to get it right. And now you can see this nice bar down here with a background and the custom characters on it. Last year I already showed an application of these custom fonts in my tech pack series with the custom book here. And I want to show you quickly how I how I've done that. So I extracted one of these sites here and this is already at the maximum resolution and let's include this in the def defaults.json. The entire, the entire resource pack with all the values is by the way available for download on the manager so check out the description. But let's insert the filter.png here and we want to assign the fourth character here. 
since we want to display this in a book, we have to we have to move it a bit up and also scale it a lot. So this would be 139. These are just some experimental values I experimented with and it worked fine with these values here. Again, reload the texture pack here and then I can use this command here to give me a book which has one page and our custom character on that page. I will also link this command in the description so you can copy it. And now we see just a black box here. That's because the font color here is black in the book and this changes the color of our image. We actually have to force it to use our white color. Just insert the color down here. And now we can see everything is like the image in our book itself. And of course you could also do multiple pages here. Just have to add these characters to the pages here. And this little speech bubble pick here, that is also done with custom fonts, as you could tell from this giant image here. And if I disable the resource pack, you can see there are two armor stands that are directly riding the pick. And one of it, one of them is responsible to display the speech bubble, and another one displays the lower text as its name. On that armor stand, there's also another armor stand that writes the armor stand. So, and that just s shows the second line here, and that has also the marker property. So the second line is displayed at the feet, and that shows these two lines. I hope this become clear with this video, how to use these custom fonts. Also how to be creative with these fonts to create a custom head display or books or even some hover statements over specific blocks. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also check out the Reddit article. I got most of the information from that. Thank you for watching. We'll see us in the next video. Bye.